So today we are making a Chinese flute called Shung. So it's spelled like this X U N pronounced Shung. To make it, you need um, an amount of clay that comfortably fits in your hands, and you will have to make an egg. I'm using this. Um, clay it's uh, cassius basaltic it turns turns black when you fire it okay so first uh, make sure you wedge your clay to get rid of all the air bubbles and then um, make a decent size um, egg shape this looks like a chocolate egg um, after you make it you can smooth it out with the rib uh, so it, it, it's pretty smooth as you see now okay then you place it somewhere to dry depends where it is if it's too dry uh, if you are in a very dry environment uh, it may be just a couple hours this was outside in a humid environment for a couple days um, so as you can uh, you can tell let me turn it this way that uh, that's that's how it was placed that, that was the bottom right because it flattened out like that which is fine okay so now you have this leather hard egg um, that's where uh, that flattened part is and we're gonna slice it in half so it's more comfortable actually for me to do it this way um, so you need wire tool right? okay and now you're gonna slice it Try to slice it right in the center. Uh oh. And pull through. Okay. So now you have two halves. What you need to do is to carve to hold it up. And the wall should be about this thick, so um, not thicker than half an inch. Which looks like a quarter of an inch. Between quarter of an inch and half an inch. Okay, so on both sides you need to hollow it out. So I will use this uh, trimming tool, sculpting tool, um, you know, you can do it with a spoon even, whatever works. So it's going to take some time, take your time, um, be careful not to carve out too much so you don't create a hole, right? So.
Okay, now I have two halves that are smoothed out inside and outside, and as you probably guessed, we will connect it, connect them together. So I have this um, textured rib that I will use for scratching. slip So you will have to press it for the seam to come together. Remember it is hollow now, so if you press too hard, if you press down on it, you will indent it. So you have to press sort of on the surface, like push together. So you should have a pretty neat seam. You see how here came the, the two halves came together. So you almost, you see no seam almost. Here it still needs some work. So I'll press it. Just keep working, working it all the way around, over and over again. Uh, take your time. Once again, the beauty of this project is that you can play uh, the flute in unfired state. Um, you can fire it, of course, and it will be functional. So when you have a chance to fire it, you can do that. The inside chamber is pretty important um, for the sound, but the outside, I assume that you can decorate any way you want and you can add things to it as long as it's not on the way uh, on 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 the way you know for your fingers but we'll get to it also because it's an egg shape um, you know it's not gonna stand right like this it'll tip so um, making a stand for it could be pretty elaborate project with pinch pot um, or just a block of clay carved with all kinds of decorations on it you can go wild with the stand okay so now I'm going to smooth it out once again so it's nice and shiny like this because once you make holes it's, it will be harder to smooth out Okay, because the seam is so fresh, I will let it um, 
sit for just a little bit to get um to let clay get used to it to to this reattachment you know to the particles that are being attached so just just maybe a little bit um 15 minutes or so 10 minutes um well that the, on this side it looks great it can you know you can just Seems like a very good attachment, but on this side, it looks okay too. Alright, so, but I will let it sit regardless because I have something else that I can test. Um, I can test this idea on. So, if you have, um, this is hand built, but if you have, if you have a wheel at home. What you can do, okay, I'm gonna set it down. What you can do, you can throw an enclosed form. I'll show you. So something like that. I have two here that I want to try. One is smaller and that one's bigger. Oh, I'm assuming they'll make different sounds. Okay, now also, I made stands. So, I threw them on a the wheel, so this is one, and uh, it fits this egg. <laughs> okay, so I threw the enclosed form, and then I turned it over. Um, you know, I... I um, through the cylinder and set this egg in the cylinder and then trim this part. So now it's sort of squashed egg, but we'll see what sound it makes. Okay, so, so here's the stand, which again, you can decorate. Just set it aside for now. And yeah, here's this, just a little, little bowl for this small guy. Um, actually, this was uh, intended to go onto um, the stem, like that. And then, so this would be attached together, and this egg would, would go inside. That's how it would look like. Okay. So, but we're going to talk about um, how to make... How to tune your shun. <laughs> so if you want to get really um, advanced here <laughs> and tune it and know what key your instrument is in, then you can uh, the charts. You can look look it up on the internet. If you're really curious, I can send you um, I can send you the chart also. All right, so. I haven't done it with um, this thrown and closed form, so I have no idea what's going to happen <laughs> if you're going to try. Um, these are hole cutters. Um, it's good to have them. They cut really clean hole. Um, also, you can use um, the bits, right? Different sizes. So that's equally as good. All right, so I'm going to start with um, a little small hole cutter right here. So for the mouthpiece, you you cut out the hole right in the center, right on top. It's a little twisty. Okay. You see how the hole is relatively clean. Okay, we go. We can do it again. The tools that you can clean it with, like sculpture tools. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to make sound. So to make sound, I'm gonna draw this here. So here's your, here's your shroom. Okay. So 
the mouthpiece you just cut out the hole right here right so you don't blow into it like this you blow against it so the flow of air should go this way which means your lips have to be right here right on your chin so this have to be against your chin um, The, and then you have to play with the embouchure. You have to sort of um, squeeze your lips together this way and then this way. Um, so it's like a small round hole <laughs> that you blow out of. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try what sound this small hole makes. Or doesn't. I, I'm going to cut out a bigger hole. See what that does. So it's like a next size bigger hole cutter. I think it made it higher. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna try the bigger one and see how the how it works with the bigger one. Let's start with the smaller mouthpiece. So this one is pretty low, and this one's much higher as well. Okay, now I'm gonna try with this form. So we started with it. It's a hand built form. Um, I'll try a smaller hole. I think it's gonna work better because it's more elongated. So. Um, my mouth would get closer to the mouthpiece. Wow, look how clean that turned out. Okay. Okay, yeah, so, so now we are going to make um, keyholes. All right, so what, what you're gonna do, uh, because you hold it against your chin, right? So your chin is right here and your lips here. So, you have to make sure that you hold it uh, in your hands at all times. So when you hold it in your hands and it's comfortable for you, you know, you probably have to test it by uh, putting it close to your mouth, you know, how you play it. Okay, so somehow I found this com it's comfortable for me when it's when I hold it like this and the sound that is produced I like better when uh, the air goes against this particular edge yeah so um I will mark okay so I'll mark where my fingers usually Shun has six holes in the front here and two for thumbs so one, okay, another second, okay, I'm not sure how symmetrical you want to get. Mm. So, um, so first, 
drill holes on the front here, drill or cut out. Um, if you tune in your instrument, what you would do is that, and you can download the tuner, you would uh, determine what key your instrument is in by blowing to mouthpiece, and then um, according to the chart, you would drill a smaller hole, and then a bigger hole if it needs to be uh, to uh, correspond to a particular um, um, pitch. Okay, so I'm not gonna get that uh, sophisticated here. Um, I'm just gonna win it and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna try to play something. Well, that's what takes time, and then you will explore, you know, what sounds it can make. Also, um, you need to change your embouchure with a different, with different notes, with different pitches. So this one is um, a larger lower pitch. So the trick to move your lower jaw out to extend the lip, um, to extend the airstream. Okay, this one's smaller, has uh, um, six holes altogether, four on the side and then two on this. Damn, it's a rebel. <laughs> 